event, this awesome Christmas dinner, is being put on by the Arima Evangelical Church. So before we go another step further, would you please just give a round of applause to the Arima Evangelical Church? Because once again, once again, they're going to partake this evening in a very special Christmas-styled and Christmas-themed dinner with one of us. Okay, so we're a family, we're coming together with your own special families, and there's so much in store for you. So continue as you are at this moment. I'm your host for the evening, Maritza Fowler, and I am really honored to be given this duty this afternoon. So I hope that we will really come together, gel nicely, relax, and make this indeed an evening to remember. How are you feeling this evening? Awesome? There's something about dressing up that should make you feel awesome, you know. And I'm seeing so much glittery, beautiful faces, and it has nothing to do with the lights, it has nothing to do with glitter dust that's around. It's you, my friends. It's you, my sisters. It's you, my brothers, that's glittering before me this evening. And each and every person, I know what's on the outside that I'm seeing is a reflection of the beauty that's on the inside as pertaining to who you are in Jesus Christ. So once again, a very, very warm welcome to you. And at this time, I would like everybody to just pause for a tiny chorus as we officially open in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much dear great Jesus for this wonderful evening where we came together and many are still on the way to partake, Father, in your honor and glory, even by means of sharing a meal. We thank you, Lord, for the planners and all that was put together in the program. We truly look forward to everything flowing with order, with everything flowing in a manner, Lord, that continues to give you the honor and the glory. We pray your blessings on everything that we partake by way of food and by way of drink. We pray, Lord, that the entertainment will be apt as well. We pray, Lord, that everyone will have their fill and more. And we certainly trust and thank you, Father, that at the end of the day, Lord, you would have received all honor and glory. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 And this time, I would like to invite our own very special in-house vocal superstar. We know her from since she's a little girl grown up, blossomed into a beautiful young lady. We're very proud of her. She's already becoming renowned on a national scale. So please join with me as we welcome with warmest Christmas darling riches Miss Rhea Eccles to her Oh come Oh
keep it, keep it warm, keep it smooth, keep it loving. Selfie with each other. It's us guys, so we'll continue to relax. So the program continues. And, but here now, let's see a little bit of what you all know. You all know that segment that is have about what you know? Sherry, you're frightened. You get frightened already? Do you all know this segment, right? What you know? What you know? I wonder if I could pull some people with me here on the stage just to do a little bit of what you know. You all know a lot. You all know Christmas. You all know the season. You all know Trinidad. We could do this. We could do this. Any volunteers for what you know? Come now, man. That fellow don't ask for volunteers, though. He's just approaching with what you know. I think I would want to single out some people if they're not volunteering. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so we're asking some people around the town, what do you know? <laughs> and because Alyssa's smiling so bright and beautiful, I want to ask you. So, lady, tell me, how do you spell the word frankincense? Yes, 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 yes. 
specially requested song as per the team. It's a song I did not know so well, but I've grown over the past two days that I've practiced it to love it. Amen. And I hope that it will resound with most of us here tonight. Amen. everywhere. So if you know that you 
you have some sort of engagement in the near future, somewhere in 2020, hook him up now, you know. Because listen, he's getting hooked up very fast, you know. Hook him up, hook him up, all right? Y'all see that man, eh? he deserves it. That was awesome. So wait, you take me down there? Mm-mm-mm. And once again, once again, the level of entertainment is at such a boiling height that whoever has to follow, wow, 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 what a job, what a job it is. So I hope they're up for it. So we're flowing with the program because I know that by now your stomachs are probably also accompanying the music that we have played here, right? And within the theme again of Trini Christmas, this is definitely a true essence of Trini Christmas. We welcome to the stage, you're already behind you. We welcome to the stage at this point in time of Param! Somebody say Param! Param, Param! Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm gracing us with such melodious Param this evening. It's none other than Alma Carabania. Did I say it correct? Alma Carabania. So get ready to Param, Param. Loosen up. Get ready to. That is how food digests, you know. Get ready for Alma Carabania. Thank you. Say good evening to everyone. Alma Caribenia, and that was one of the few people, the lady who introduced the band, she's one of the few people over the times we have been performing, who has actually pronounced the name of the band correctly, so you can be proud of that.
are the band Alma Caribeña. For those of you that don't speak Spanish, we are also known as Caribbean Soul. Right, this next song we're about to do is a popular one made by the Lara Brothers. I'm sure we have some of you that will know this one. Feel free to sing along. Find out about the Lara Brothers. Look, 
tema. Don't ask Brian Lara. <laughs> Sorry for letting Andy quote you, the mic cut off on my friend.
Remember the last act we had here was the parents, right? Well, they were good? Yeah. I think they were good. So let's give them a round of applause, right? It's good to bring in the season. Let me tell you something about parents a little bit. Remember when the old school parents, because they talk about the Lara brothers and that kind of stuff. How many of you know the people who are in a parent band? Let me call some names. Who, we, who do we have in a parent band? A quattro player. A quattro player. <laughs> A guitar man, bass guitar, yes. A shack shack man, and we have our vocalist. There is a person in that band that you don't know about, that you don't see. That's called the pin man. You ever see the pin man in a parent band? You don't see him. The pin man just sit down behind everybody, and he have a pin in his hand. And when they're singing, he duty is to choke people with our pin. <laughs> that is why parallel singers have this high note. Aye! <laughs> they had a pin man from Mount Pleasant. Like it on the function, he takes some good drinks, can get nice, fall asleep behind the vocalist and then singing. Rio Mansana, Rio Mansana. And as he's singing, Get up so I need to sell a chunk page and hurry your man to hey! Hey, 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 hey! That is the pin man, so next time you hear a parent man on stage, look for the hey! Look for the pin man, alright? Alright. Let me tell all this about one parent again. I'll tell you the piece, we're going into the piece just now, eh? we're going into the, the main thing. Let me tell all this about parent. There's a fella called Koro Koro. From Coal Mine Sandy Grandy. How many of you know Coal Mine Sandy Grandy? Yeah. You know Coal Mine Sandy Grandy, sister Sam? That has a in Coal Mine called Coro Coro. Coro Coro was an ace quattro player, one of the best quattro players we had in Trinidad and Tobago. He had a way, he used to line up houses, and as he go into the houses and he enter by a gate, Coro. he starts to strum. Thing in the kitchen, 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 thing in the kitchen. And as you open your door, straight in the gallery, straight in the joint room, straight in the kitchen, he eating out everything and he drinking everything. Thing in the kitchen, thing in the kitchen, thing in the kitchen. And yeah, Koro Koro coming up the trays in coal mines and the grandy. That a fella living at the end of the trays. You see Koro Koro coming, boy. Set for him as he reached by the gate, roll up his sleeve, cut back his hat, tuck his shirt, pull out the quattro, <laughs> and he's ready. Thing in the kitchen, thing in the kitchen, thing in the kitchen, thing in the kitchen. As he's going in the madhouse, he pull out a box face, get the fella, ting dong, ting dong, ting dong. <laughs> that was the last we hear of Koro Koro. Thing in the kitchen. We had a lot of rain for the last three or four days. Real rain. I went to Oko this, this morning to, um, to celebrate the tribute of Brother Victor. Remember Brother Victor? Celebrate 60 years today, so we are on the way up to Toko. Rain! River break the bank. And my wife stopped by a partner. A fella called Ayers, living in Toko. I walk in Ayers, but it rained so long, I reached Toko on my Ayers. When I reached the gallery, the roof leaking, he collected water in a pot in the gallery. I walk in the joint room, roof leaking, he collected water in a pot. Going wrong in the back by the corridor, just to go by the bathroom, roof leaking, he collected water in a pot. When I reach in the kitchen, he cooking in a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> it just don't make sense. All the pot of the bank, he making soup, and I got a nice bucket. Anyway, so you want to go into this piece, people? It is called Remember What. Give us a roll of applause one more time. And it goes a little something like this. The cleansing used to start. The cleaning used to start. Round mid-November. Right after Diwali. Man, every man jack had to work. Was scrubbing, painting, and varnishing. I telling some young people the other day about varnish. They watch me like I talk in French week. <laughs> we had to varnish all them chair and all them door. It had a
smell. Yes. a smell. I can't have Christmas smell. Remember when? We used to have to go down on our knees and polish the floor. You remember that? Yes. You remember cheese polish? Yes. Elbow grease? Yes. And a glass of sorrel. Yes. And you had to see your face in the floor. Yes. Mommy coming round to inspect. What about Osida oil? Yes. Remember Osida oil? That used to give them fullity and them a gloss. Yes. Scrub the yard. Paint the flower pots. And all them white stone round the almond tree. In, you remember them big, heavy duck and chicken and swan used to be in them gallery? Man, eye line. You had to scrub them and whitewash them and put them back up in the gallery. Remember them days? Yeah. Remember when? I never forget the sacred heart picture of Jesus in my grandmother gallery. The eyes in that picture. You used to follow me. <laughs> Especially when I teach something. I won't forget. I won't forget um, all them wears that used to lock up a whole year in the cabinet. All you remember that? Yes. Under lock and key. We had to take them out one by one, wash them, dry them. Shine them and pack them back. <laughs> Once them activities start, we know Christmas coming. What are you next year? Say Christmas coming. Christmas coming. When I was four up and I hear Christmas coming, I used to think about this grand occasion coming on the bus that you stop every hour in the junction by Rambadan shop. I am playing all stupid now. I remember when, it was like yesterday, when we had to put on linoleum. That was a task. First, it wasn't so weak and feeble like nowadays. It was thick and heavy. It was pressure. Take two big man long time to put on linoleum. Now they just call it vinyl. And you can pack it in a high bag. <laughs> That had a real Christmas smell too, yeah. when they put it down with the yeah. So wait, wait, I ain't finished. We had to scrub yard. You hear what I say? Scrub yard. Look at the young people. Any young people in here tell them scrub yard. <laughs> with yard broom, soap powder, and tall boots. Then days, yard broom hard like algebra. <laughs> Lasting you two, three years. Now with a set of tiny broom, can't take a good scrub. Ratax, they break. Then young people watch me like I'm a, they ask me about power wash. Power wash? The power was in your back, and the wash was in your scrub. I try to explain a young man about Christmas Carol. He asking me where she living. So I had to explain he. Once was November into December, you had to have a special copy book. And you used to write down all the Christmas carols. And you had to learn them. And every morning in school, we singing out the heart. Remember when? Yeah. That was good days. Yeah. Man, nowadays, they take the parrot and they mash it up. Now they take the parrot and they mash it up. Only who neighbor want to pay it. To pay it. Who want breakfast in bed? <laughs> Who harm missing? And yes, Tanti Yulin. Yeah. Chinese parang with foot. Wang, wang, wang. <laughs> Man, I like Mr. Lopez from Mount Pleasant, but we turn him in the grave. And Clarita Rivas, the true first parang queen, who was there long before Daisy came on the scene. Yeah. So let me talk about food. Fruit cake left, right, and center. Fruit soaking since last December. Soaked down with punch and rum. And bunny nose, pastel making, ham baking, contra cream, and sorrel mixing. I remember when it was only wrong Christmas time, long time. You could have seen apple and cream. Remember that? Long time. Was no pre cooked ham from our brusco, you know. You mad! You couldn't bring that in my mother house. Was star ham in bag. Yes. Good soaked down, cured down, and salted. And 
and yes, you had to boil that down in a prepared pitch oil tin yeah. on an outside fire. Yeah. All them young people watching, what is the joy? Pork, beef, chicken, and plenty bacon. Food has to last until next year. It always seems so far away when you were small, but next year was just one week. Yeah. You realize that? Yeah. You waited until next year and it was just one week. We had to go with Papa and cut a Christmas tree down by the river in Mr. Babuji Land. A good branch with a strong stump. Then we would tote it all the way back up to the house, clean it down, paint it up white, stick it down in a bucket of red sand, and wait on Mommy to start decorating it. Nobody could touch them decorations until Mommy reached. Yeah. Remember Angel here? We have to string angel hair all over the tree and wrap the lights. For Christmas, a long time, we had about a million extension cords. Tie up, tape up, and hang up. Ten days, they didn't have LED lights, you know. So everybody used to brace themselves for the January light bill. But we lighten up still. Firecracker, scratch from no sun. We didn't have that. We had Kabai and Bossing Bamboo. One year they did burn with my eyebrow. Bossing Bamboo. So every day we peeping under the tree. How come we not see no gifts for me? Then one morning, just before Christmas, a set of gifts appear. Every year you're seeing for boys, caps gun, piano. Ice truck and put it on. Block ice. The truck used to pass.
cars and stuff I leave house every Christmas to take a shot. Mommy used to watch daddy like a hawk when the parents I reach. She used to quarrel with him how he liked to show off and share all she take and he never had. <laughs> Them two used to be going at it day and night for his good memories. I like that. Christmas long ago was good memories. Memories that we would live on for a long, long time. The love that we shared, we can't share no more. Times change so much. People change so much. It is not as it used to be, but we had some good times. So I urge you tonight, hold on to the foundation that brought us here, brought us together, and remember when. Keep Jesus in the Christmas Amen. forever. Amen. Thank you very much.
must be mad. When you're bending for this, something else, you know. money done spent already and people waiting all day all you better play some music for we cause we will stop giving all the desserts anyway so the music comes so the box is jumping with boom 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 i really shock shock the shake it i shake it i shake it i shake it i shake it and then the quattro come in drink a doll drink a doll drink a doll
whatever God has placed there on what given you, has gifted you with, you volunteer. And we really want to appreciate all of you for it. Because, um, you know, we all can find other things to do with the time that God has given to us. But we want to thank you, thank you, thank you for making things happen, whether it's on a Sunday morning, whether it's on a Wednesday night, whether it's, um, you know, however that you serve, whether it's in the church, whatever that you do, we really do appreciate. Because it's all voluntary and it's all using the gifts that God has given to you. All right? And sometimes I know that, you know, we say that um, the Lord is our rewarder. The Lord is the one that we do things for. Yes, he is. But sometimes it is good to get acknowledgement. Yes, to feel appreciated. So what we're going to do right now is just um, honor those who serve in the different committees. Yeah? Thank you. All right, so just a little token of appreciation to all those who serve as heads of the different committees that we have in the church. We are a small church, but we have a lot of people who are active and who are keeping things going and keeping things alive, right? So as you hear your name called, um, just come up and Janisha will present you with your small token of appreciation. As soon as you hear your name calls, you know, stand up and come up. We're not going to wait until you know, one by one. But as you hear him call, you come on up and you will receive your token. Yeah? Um, and of course, just keep the applause going, right? Really appreciate those who work um, firstly for the Lord and also, um, you know, serve each and every one of us. So, firstly, we want to call Sister Annette. Sister Annette serves on several committees. She heads the custodian committee, but she also is part of the treasury committee. Sister Annette, come on up as soon as you hear him call. She's with the intercessor. Sister Annette always in church. Right? And we want to thank God for her and for all that she does. Alright? Um, Rachel. Rachel heads the dance committee. We want to thank God for her taking up that mantle. Rachel Eccles. Um, and we've seen all how these girls have grown leaps and bounds. Thank you, Rachel. Afia, hospitality is a new committee in the church, and she has taken the mantle to head that committee. We want to thank you, Afia, for all the bins and the water, and it's just the little things that count, you know, when heading up that committee. Thank you so much, Afia. Sister June Lay, ladies group. Sister June, thank you so much for all that you do, the ladies, continuously. Um, Sister Marie Austin, she just left, all right? Um, somebody will accept on her behalf. She's gone, all right? But Sister Marie um, is in charge of worshiping, of the worship ministry as well as she does counseling. Sister Jessie, I'm not seeing her here tonight, but she had to intercess. That's Sister Muriel. Sister Muriel Walcott with the kitchen as well as volunteering for communion. Sister Muriel, thank you so much. We all appreciate the cups of tea. We all appreciate what you do for us on a Sunday morning. Sister Jill, Marcel, with tired and sleep, with salt and light, has kept that ministry going for several years. We want to really thank her for all that she does, Sister Jill Marcel. Sister June Cotton, thank you so much. She leads Wednesday nights as well as she teaches the 101 classes. We really want to thank God for her, right? Continuously serving. Leon George, all right? Even as a member, Leon is in charge of the Treasury Committee. Thank you so much, Leon, for all that you do, heading up um, that committee. <laughs> all right, we also want to honor our board members who serve. Brother Lane, Brother Lane, come on up, serving on the church board. Brother Britton Joseph. Britton is... Is one foot in, one foot out, but thank you so much for what you've done for us this year. We appreciate you. Always good to see you around. Brother Timmy. Timmy. Come on forward. Thank you so much, Timmy. Yes. Leanna Perry. She's the happy to the church administrator. Right? Um, Liana is the go-to person for everybody. If everybody in this church is called Liana as much as I just call Liana, I'm sorry for you, Liana. <laughs> she said, oh, she said it's called her, whoa, why? <laughs> All 
right? But Liana was also, you know, she does, she, she's in charge of the Benevolent Fund as well and um, other things. And of course, last but by no means least, our Reverend Michael Grant. Definitely not. Pastor Stan. All right. Thank you so much. Stan, give him a round of applause as they come. Thank you so much, Pastor Grant, Sister Anne. Just to show you our appreciation for all that you do for us. You can. Sister Anne had a hook up. I'm yes. thinking don't that.
for you in the door prize. <laughs> Sister June Nain, as you're here, can you just step a little forward? And I wonder if we will have a smart gentleman who's already standing by the name of Ethan George. Please come and help us to pick a number from this basket. So you guys get your stubs out. I hope nobody will throw me that finger in this case if it's a dirty look. You're going to put your hand in, not look in, don't even look. <laughs> Pick one. Go, Ethan. Yes, two, drop one, nice. And we're going to look at it, look at it, please. And there are numbers there. Can you call the numbers for me, please? Zero. Two. Yes. Zero. Zero, two, zero. Thank 
you very much, Ms. Fowler. Awesome, congratulations. We're going to give Dr. Prizes. Oh, it is. We're going to give more Dr. Prizes. We just show it to you. We need one more volunteer to pick a number. Come, Kaya, thank you. Where's the basket of numbers? Shake up the basket. Shake up the basket. Shake up the basket. Anybody want that? Woohoo! Okay, we're in the next place. Yes, yes, yes. But you know we very fine in that.
Keisha and Candice. One more round of applause. Excellent job, ladies. It's a big thing to come on stage and do any sort of um, ministry piece, you know. Anybody can have butterflies if you did a thousand times. So great job, ladies. And as we bring our program to a closing, of course, we have that piece of time where we do our vote of thanks. At this time, I invite a very, very special person to all of us who would be honored with giving a vote of thanks and then closing in prayer. So please, let's welcome our own house pastor, Reverend Michael Grant, as he comes to do the vote of thanks. But I will tell you, everything gave thanks. So this is the will of God in Christ Jesus and sin in you. And so, on behalf of the Rima Evangelical Church, I want to say thanks to the committee, first of all, who prepared this place in all of its elegance and, and enabled us to have a very enjoyable time this afternoon. Yeah. I want to really say thanks to, to the members of that, of that committee. Uh, I don't know them by their, their names at this point in time, um, but each one of them, I, I recall seeing them spending a lot of time um, coming here and preparing this place for this uh, wonderful evening that we had. Um, in addition to um, the committee, I want to express thanks um, to those who did perform tonight. Um, I want to thank the, the, the MC first of all um, for a very magnificent job. Um, she's very creative, um, as she always is, and we are thankful to her for using her giftedness in this manner. We also want to, to thank um, the musicians, um, and the vocalists, and as well as we want to express our thanks for the caterers and the wonderful job that they did. Um, we also want to um, say thanks to all those who um, prepared the place in providing um, all of the, the plants and so on that we were able to use for decorating um, here this evening. We also want to thank the photographers um, and the videographers and the And, and the, the internet <laughs> uh, the new course. So, so look for yourself on Facebook sometime and <laughs> uh, And if you are here and you, somebody didn't know you're here, you will be exposed. <laughs> uh, you want to say thanks to them. Uh, you want to thank um, our brother Gavin um, for, for supporting us. Like we have never laughed for a long time. And the Bible says laughter is good for the soul. So we are grateful to him for his contribution this year. Um, and, and if I have forgotten anyone, um, please forgive me. But I want to, to say thanks to all of you who took time to, to come and to be a part of this evening's um, occasion. And there is no one um, better for us to thank about everyone else um, but the Lord himself. And so, would you stand with me as we close this evening in thanking the Lord for bringing us here safely and for enabling us um, to benefit from the giftedness and the talent of different ones and for his blessing upon us in coming and in the person of the Lord Jesus and giving his life for us so that we can have life more abundantly. So let us thank him at this time. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, our God, we bow your presence this evening 
and we thank you for being the God that you are. Uh, we thank you that you came and gave your life in order that we might have life and have it more abundantly. We, we thank you for your patience with us. We, we thank you for your um, giftedness of us. We thank you, Lord, for your promises to us. And, and we thank you for the joy that is unspeakable and full of glory that our knowing you um, fills our hearts with. We thank you this evening for enabling us um, to live in, in a country where we are free to gather like this and to worship you. Amen, amen. We, we thank you from the depths of our hearts for each other and for the, the love that we can share and the joys that we can um, enjoy and the pains that we can bear uh, with one another. And we are reminded of the psalmist who said, Behold how good and how blessed it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. We, we thank you that this Christmas time that we can enjoy such a uh, unifying um, factor in our gathering here this evening. So accept our thanks and take us to our respective homes in safety and may um, this Christmas be one that will be itching our hearts for the rest of our lives because we have come to a point of appreciating what you have done for us and what you continue to do for us uh, by sending Jesus into this world near 2,000 years ago. We thank you in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. 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 And the Lord bless you and greet each other as you need. Thank you.